Yes, it has uh, lost the fight already, and uh, it uh, it is willing to give in. I, I think, for the time being, unless the population becomes nervous, and that could of course be the case if uh, the current inflation persists and becomes stronger. Uh, we have a rather strong increase in uh, consumer prices, uh, but we have an astronomical increase in uh, industrial producer prices, 18.4% uh, over a year. That is the highest increase since 1951. And um, there is a risk that this uh, is being transmitted into consumer prices. Uh, currently, uh, the uh, traders, uh, the, the shops uh, reduce their margins, but they won't do that forever. And there is second, of course, the problem uh, that wage negotiations next year will uh, try to uh, add the current inflation onto on their wage demand. So we have uh, certainly uh, second round effect. So it's it's in a, a very dangerous situation, actually, for the stability of the European system. Werner, I had this strenuous debate with an analyst yesterday about those second round effects. You told me it wasn't coming through into wages in Germany. But that's not my question to you. It's not true. It's not true. Yeah. I mean, the, the I tried last... to argue that, that side, sir. <laughs> the, the last negotiations, yes, in the public sector, uh, they didn't show that, but they didn't know that this uh, enormous inflation is underway when they did the negotiations. No, no. Uh, this will come next year and it will increase the price level by the end of the year and for uh, 2023. And the ECB, however, believes that there will be only a minor effect. It has the opinion, but it has no facts to justify this opinion. That is the problem. Uh, the uh, um, IFO Institute has surveys about uh, uh, price setting behavior of firms. And uh, we have uh, a surge of firms uh, saying they want to increase their prices. It has never been uh, as high as today, the last 30 years. So uh, we can expect something. No, no, well, I'm speaking to Clemens later on, so I'll see what Herr Fust has to say a little bit later on as well. I've got a question for you, uh, and it's, got, it's almost a two-parter. I don't know how friendly you are with Madame Lagarde. I mean, I don't know if you have uh, a friendship, but I, I just feel you two are diametrically opposed in terms of your approach to things. I think that's fair to say. But how do you respond when um, Madame Lagarde turns around and says we are not going to have a rate rise in 2022 and we are going to continue with an asset purchase programme, uh, albeit not the PEPP? What do you think when you hear Madame Lagarde saying those things? Yeah, she is in a different movie, I would say. Um, she has the ECB has increased the monetary base, uh, uh, the central bank money, from uh, the Lehman crisis to today sevenfold, and it's six times uh, as high as it used to be relative to the eurozone's GDP. This is an enormous problem, and uh, this increase is uh, to uh, eighty percent. Uh, or primarily um, the result of uh, government bond purchases. Uh, Four billion euros of government bonds have been purchased and it's very difficult to resell them because that would of course uh, bring trouble to banks which hold similar uh, assets in their portfolios. Uh, and it would also bring problems to uh, states who are used got accustomed to uh, uh, zero interest financing, uh, they, their budgets would be under strain. So they will postpone these measures for long, as long as they possibly can. But uh, that uh, will mean that we actually have no break to stop an inflation, which comes from other reasons. Uh, the supply so shortages worldwide, uh, the lockdowns uh, and all these things, you know. We have a stagflationary situation in the moment of the kind we had in the 1970s. And uh, there we had the same. You know, initially everyone said, oh, this is a temporary phenomenon. Uh, it quickly goes away. Uh, not true. Uh, there are second round effects which uh, 
uh, are similar to how a fire begins. You know, the fire you have to extinguish it quickly because if you don't do that, it has multiplier effects and it could expand. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersacci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.